very good morning viewers uh, it's an exciting uh, day today uh, of course aaj to expiry hai so everyone's been on their uh, tenter hooks hoping to uh, uh, catch the momentum and today is the day we've decided to also do our uh, algo workshop because what better day to do it than uh, you know than uh, on expiry day uh, so today, today kushal jain has joined us so i'm pretty sure uh, you would have uh, seen his previous uh, webinar where kushal had taken us through uh, the complete uh, download about algo or algo trading so uh, do not miss this webinar please watch it till the end there's a lot of information you can gather uh, by looking at uh, today's workshop uh, kushal are you here Okay, I think he's having some technical difficulty. In the meanwhile, I would like to introduce Kushal. He's the co-founder of Algo Fox, and he had, uh, he's also an experienced trader with eleven years of full-time trading experience. With hi, his extensive knowledge English. and expertise, hi Kushal, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Brilliant, brilliant. I was just giving uh, the viewers a little bit of download of uh, uh, your background. So I was just telling them, uh, you know, you've managed a personal portfolio of one point three crores and developed over. Three thousand algos for retail traders, H and I's, prop traders, and uh, you've also been recognized as one of the youngest technical analysts by Z Business. Yes, so, God has been very kind that I was recognized <laughs> by so many things. Well, I would I would still compliment your efforts and uh, your determination to get where you are today. So, uh, God might be just a catalyst, though. Yeah, maybe. So, uh, perfect. Thank you so much for uh, doing this workshop today with us. uh so uh, i believe uh, the uh, you know we let's not take any more of uh, uh time and we can start with uh, the workshop right away sure so good morning everyone i hope you guys are able to hear me loud and clear and uh, let's start the session uh, so i will also be uh, checking out your doubts or queries on youtube uh, i think a youtube lags by few seconds so i think uh, i will have to get some time to get used to it but nevertheless let's start the session in today's session i am going to teach basically how to automate without using any coding knowledge in equity futures options commodity and currency basically all the segments in the live market where you can automate any strategy that is in your mind we are also going to build and automate few strategies also today also a very quick note that today's session is not focused on giving you profits or helping you make profitable trades or anything of that sort this session is purely for education purpose and in fact that is the reason i am going to trade in a completely new account where i have never traded before in fact this fires account was also opened just two days before in which there is no trading done at all till date today is the first trade that we are going to take in that particular account and the first trade also will be fully automated right so i hope you guys are excited to learn something new and interesting and i hope i am not bothering you on your busy expiry thursday right so you will learn something new and interesting of course and today uh, just like in the previous session also our main focus would be to develop algos from non coding platforms like charting and trading view right so shall we start the session guys uh kushal just before we start there is a mandatory uh... uh disclaimer that we need to show so give me a moment sure. i'm just going to quickly share that on the screen for sure. a few seconds and then we'll be able to start of course of course uh are you able to see my screen yes okay perfect i will stop sharing now perfect also a few people were asking since the previous session was in hindi will this session be in hindi no this session will be in english language right and uh, let's continue the session right so i'm just going to start sharing my screen one second so i hope you guys are able to see the screen clearly and i can also see that uh, on the youtube yes perfect let's go this is my fires account and in this fires account i have close to 2 and 1/2 lakh rupees and this is a fresh account which is recently started two days back and as i said i'll again emphasize on the fact that this session is purely for education purpose and today we are going to discuss how a non coder can also automate their trades in fires terminal uh, using several algo trading platforms right so first uh, since it is expiry let us quickly talk about options first and then come back to equities futures commodity and currency 
we need to touch upon all the asset classes and there are multiple ways in which you can manage your position in multiple asset classes first also simultaneously i would want to uh, log in into my trading view account okay so quick disclaimer also so if you want to automate your trades uh, using trading view or charting or any of these platforms uh, you will have to have the paid version of these platforms also right so i am using the paid version of trading view uh, if you would want to automate uh, your trades from trading view uh, you will ha also have to have paid version of trading view uh, in the free version of trading view you will be able to use it in the broker terminal that is fires however you will not be able to create any alert so since we will not be able to create any alert here as such uh, you will need to switch from a free version to paid version right all right so let's go and i'm just going to just remove all the strategy that i've uploaded right so we are live right now and instead of hikanashi candle i'll come back to normal candlesticks yeah so now let us say if i want to automate any trades uh in nifty or bank nifty options using spot chart or future chart from platform like trading view or platform like uh, charting it is doable what are we going to do is first we are going to take spot or future chart as a reference to automate our trades second in the second half of the session we are going to take absolute options chart also to do complicated stuffs like combined premium based straddle strangle setup and all of that stuff as well right so uh, we will we are going to do all of that in detail it's going to be a little a lengthy session first half i want to do all the easy stuff so that everyone is confident and everyone is along with me second half if the time permits we are going to explore absolute complicated stuff uh, my bad uh, please uh, put your cell phone on the silent mode as well all right so now here we have bank nifty chart and uh, i'm on a 5 minutes chart of bank nifty for example let us say if i am a price action trader again uh, one more quick uh, disclaimer again because a lot of people are joining right now so if you are attending this session the, everything that i'm going to show you right now is going to be purely for education purpose only right there is no uh, agenda to discuss any strategy or profitable setup or anything of that sort so let us say for price action trader we'll start with price action setups and then we're going to go with indicator based setup as well now here in this particular trade i can see that yesterday bank nifty was going up today it suddenly went up there's a big gap up and then after the gap up the day high of this uh, particular uh, is uh, what do you say candle is not broken so we are in a very interesting situation here where uh, the first candle's low is also not broken and first candle's high is also not broken so what i can do is maybe i can consider drawing a gap you know area this is my gap area so this is the area where i feel that the gap can be filled if the first candle's low is broken this is one price action theory that a lot of popular traders do follow right now if i want to automate my trade in such a way that whenever this gap is filled or whenever a candle closes below this particular line i would want to maybe sell a call or maybe buy a put now since we are very close to expiry uh, buying a put will become very risky because premium can quickly erode to zero and since wicks are also very very low selling a call is also equally risky so it is up to you you have to decide whether you want to become an option buyer or an option seller in my case let us say i would want to become a option buyer in this particular case okay although i am a option seller mainly but in this particular case especially with expiry being considered uh, let us say i want to take a trade in option buying setup that means whenever the candle slow first candle slow is broken and if a candle closes below this particular candle i would want to trade if this is my criteria i need not monitor my screen continuously from 9:15 to 3:30 i can simply set an alert create a webhook connect it with my broker although i have explained this entire uh, you know uh, uh, what do you say journey of a signal traveling from trading view to fires terminal uh, in detail but let me again tell you uh, because we we have a lot of fresh attendees who have never attended my previous sessions right so when we want to automate any trades so we write our algo 
on some platform right the platform can there are several platforms where you can write your algo what are these platforms these platforms are ami broker mt4 mt5 trading view chart inc python excel sheet google spreadsheet many many you know you can write your uh, query or your algo on any of these platforms and you can connect it with your broker right so there is this algo platform right i'm just going to take two minutes here to explain in detail and then we have our just a minute and then we have our broker terminal i'll do one thing i'll just put my phone in the silent mode oh, sorry the flight mode and then we have broker so we have this broker where we want to send the signals so from these platforms we want to send signal to our broker terminal our broker in this case is fires so fires provides free apis right using these apis you can connect using uh, to these uh, platforms these platforms will send a signal in a specific way we need to filter it out we need to revamp the signal in the way that fires understands and then send it to the fires for example let me just give an example so let us say uh, trading view or charting or any of the of these platforms is sending a signal in this way a b c d e f this is the format let us assume right this is the signal given by these algo platform but fires understands uh, in a particular way let us say maybe a comma b comma c comma d this is the way in which fires understands so what we'll have to do is we'll have to take a signal put a filter or a bridge in between and this bridge will take this signal convert into this signal and connect it with the broker and also with the platform so with algo platforms and with the bridge there will be one api connectivity right api connectivity and between bridge and the broker there will be another api connectivity so your broker apis will go inside the bridge your platform integration will also go inside this bridge and hence it is called as bridge because it is acting as a gap bridge filling gap between this platform and the broker right is this is this point clear guys how you can create alert and then the bridge will filter those alerts or revamp the alert in the way that broker understands and then shoot to the broker terminal in that way the order from your platforms will get in you uh, know executed into your broker terminal is this point clear okay i'm just uh, seeing few queries okay till then Okay, this okay i think we can go ahead i think we can go ahead i can take the questions in a uh, in a while right so what will happen now is that in the case of bridge algo fox is also one of the bridge that helps you automate your trades so i'm just going to talk about how you can connect fires trading view and everything via algo fox right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly go to trade.algofox.in right every user has their own user id and password a lot of people said that they were unable to register on the from the last time uh, since the, in the last time uh, we gave one month algo fox subscription to everyone who is attending fires uh, webinar free of cost for those who missed out here is simpler flow you can simply go to trade.algofox.in and here new on our platform create an account there is an option called as new on our platform create an account simply click here fill up the form sign up and just send your username to our helpline number one month of subscription will be allotted to you guys free of cost anyways anyone who signs up here gets seven days of free trial also right apart from seven days you will get extra 30 days for all the fires user so you will essentially have 30 days, 37 days of subscription of this particular platform now since i already have a username and a password i'm just going to log in and here i'm just going to select my broker fires and i'm going to come back here and click on generate token how to connect algo fox with fires is pretty simple all we have to do is click on generate token and it will ask me for my mobile number just like how you log in every day into your fires terminal i'll get an otp okay 
So for OTP, I'll have to remove my mobile from flight mode. Just give me one second. All right, so OTP is done. Sign in is done. App permission, accept, continue. Done. And now you can see my account balance is also fetched here. As I said, this is a fresh account and I've never traded here. Right, so my fires count at connection with algo fox is done it is very very simple all i had to do is come here click on generate token add the fires credential otp pin and that is it now fires and algo fox connection is complete now what i'm going to do is i'm going this connection is complete right this connection is complete now this trading view and algo fox connection is pending we're going to do that also as we go ahead so right now as i said i want to automate my trades uh, where basically whenever this particular candle's low is broken and if the candle come closes below this, I would want to short. Now, how do I do it? It's very, very simple. I'm just going to take one trend line. This is for price action lovers. We're going to talk about indicator based setup also in detail as we go ahead. So I can either take a trend line or even a horizontal line. Let us say I will prefer horizontal line in this particular case. And I'm just going to draw one horizontal line here. Okay. So if candle goes below this particular line, I would want to short. And if candle reaches somewhere here, I would want to book. So I will draw one more horizontal line here. One more horizontal line here. So now that I've drawn this trend lines on a five minutes chart, I can quickly move to a lower time frame also. I can even move to a one minute time frame to understand this better. This is a one minute time frame chart. You can see that as and when market is going, uh, it is not able to break this particular channel. If it wants to break, if it breaks by any chance, you would want to take a trade. But when I'm setting an alert, I can go, I will have to go back to my initial uh, chart uh, time frame where I am doing all the study. In this particular example, I would want a five minute candle to close below this particular line, not a one minute candle. See, if I'm using one minute candle and if I create an alert, it will be based upon one minute candle. For me, a one minute candle closing below this line is less powerful than comparatively closing a five minutes candle below this particular line, right? So what I would want to do is whenever, whenever this particular line is breached by any of these candles, I would want to immediately buy, maybe say, add the money put of Bank Nifty with today's expiry. How can I do that? It's very, very simple. We'll go to Algo Fox. We'll go to watch list. In the watch list, we have option called as watch list options. So we're going to click on watch list options. And here I'm just going to delete all the things that I've created before just to make sure I do it everything in front of you right now. So we have watch list options and this in this watch list option, there is a plus button here, right? So the reason why we have created a different uh, module for watch list option is because when your entry is based upon spot chart or future chart, you can use watch list options. So I'm going to click on this plus button. It is going to ask me, do you want to be an option buyer or do you want to be an option writer? Let us say we would want to be an option buyer. In the terminal symbol, I'm just going to search for bank nifty and today's expiry, 27 July. Strike price does not matter. Strike price does not matter. Call put also does not matter. So today's expiry. And also quickly going back to <clears throat> bank nifty. So I'm using bank nifty spot chart, <coughs> not the future chart, right? So chart symbol will be as it is. Strike does not matter. Strike step is 100. That means difference between each strike. Strike multiplier is 0 represents ATM. 1, 2, 3, 4 would represent OTM. Minus 1, 2, 3, 4 would represent ITM. There's a detailed video tutorial on AlgoFox portal on how exactly this works. Right. So 0 represents ATM. Okay. Quantity is 15. Lot size is 15. Quantity multiplier 1 means I want to trade 1 lot. 
product can be MIS. Since today's expiry, I would prefer MIS because if I fail to exit, broker should exit. Other days, I can prefer NRML order. Okay. So we have entry type as market, exit type also as market. Fires does allow market order. That is the best thing about fires. Few brokers do not allow uh, market orders to be punched in option, but fires allows it. Perfect. Now, strategy tag is OPT1. So what I've told Algo Fox is that whenever Bank Nifty would generate a signal, I would want to be an option buyer. And as an option buyer, I would want to take trade in at the money call or at the money put of 27 July. Now, how does the conversion works? In Algo, there are four types of signal. What are they? There is buy, there is a sell, there is a short, and then there is cover, right? So buy represents taking a fresh long entry. Buy represents taking a fresh long entry. Sell represents exiting that long entry. Short represents taking a fresh short entry. Cover represents exiting the exiting the existing short position. So when we convert this into an option buying mode, option buying mode, buy would do buy call, sell would do sell call, buy would do, uh, short would do buy put and sell would do cover would do sell put. So we're going to have as an option buyer, we will run in a buy sell buy sell cycle only. We will not focus on option writing that is short and cover. So if spot is generating a buy signal, call will be bought. If a spot is generating a short signal, put will be bought because selling the underlying and buying the put is equally is almost same, right? And if you're in an option writing mode, if you're in a writing mode, what will happen? If there is a buy, we'll short a put. If there is a sell, we'll cover the put. If there is a short, we will short the call. And if there is a cover, we will cover the call. So this way, option buying and option writing module can be differentiated. I hope this point is clear. Beginners might find it a little difficult to understand, but others, I hope this point is clear to you. If yes, do let me know that in the chat section. Meantime, I'm taking uh, uh, other questions here. So, okay. So I'm just checking a few other questions. One second. Okay, I think... There's no question. So if you have any questions here, I'm going to cover that in a while. Right. So now I know that if I want to buy put, because if the trend line is going to break and if I want to take an ATM, if I want to buy put, I have to give a short command to trading view. Right. So let's go to trading view again here. And on this five minutes chart, we have to create an alert. Right. So how are we going to create an alert? It's very, very simple. We'll click on this trend line. We'll click on this trend line and there is an option called as add alert. Again, telling you again, alert is a paid feature of trading view and you will have to take paid version of trading view. It is up to you. I don't endorse or promote any third party products. It is totally up to you. Whatever I'm showing you, I use on my day to day trading. So all these platforms I use for myself and hence I'm showing it to you. I'm platform neutral. Whether you want to take any of these platform or not is totally up to you. I'll click on add alert. I would say whenever bank nifty, that is the spot chart is crossing down, is crossing down a horizontal line that I've plotted. And if once per bar close, that means if it goes below and closes, I want to take a trade, right? And I can keep alert name as anything. I can keep alert name as anything. For example, bank nifty price action levels anything right and now remember i've told you this uh, funda that your charting platform will send you a signal in a specific format you need to revamp or convert it and send in a format which your bridge can be able to filter and send it to your broker so we will have a special message to be written in the message section a json format those who are from programming background might understand a little bit. Those who are not, don't bother, don't get into it, don't get into it, right? So there is small JSON format. I'm just going to take that. If you go to Algo Fox, in the Algo Fox, there is a trade settings. In the trade settings, there is keys. In the keys, there is trading view conditional alert data. The JSON format is already here. 
I just have to copy this. I need not write anything on my own. I just have to copy, click on this button. It is copied. Come here, control V, paste. You see beautiful JSON format is pasted here. And here, this entire field that fires would understand or any other broker terminal would understand. Order type, buy. No, we would want to short. Because if the order type is short, only in that case, my put will be put will be bought. Instrument type is equity. No, it is OPT ID X option index. Uh, and if I scroll down a little bit, strategy tag is proven. No, it is OPT one OPT one. Why OPT one option one? Because if I go to my, uh, I'll just, if I go to my watch list in the watch list, every strategy has a specific tag. The tag is given so that uh, after one month, two months, three months, if you would want to fetch all your trades and if you would want to check how much profit or loss each strategy has generated, if you are tagging each strategy with a specific tag, it will be easy for you to do analytics, right? So I have OPT1. So that is the reason I mentioned here as OPT1. And that's it. In the notification now, I have to connect. I have to connect this trading view to AlgoFox, this trading view to AlgoFox via webhook URL. So if I go back to trade AlgoFox, there's trade settings, there is keys, and in the key there is TV webhook button. I'll copy this, I'll come back here, I'll paste it here, and simply click on create. And there you go. Your bank nifty price action level alert is active. And now, whenever a candle would close below this, the alert would be generated, right? The alert would be generated. I think it already did before we, we were sp speaking, right? So I think now next, whenever candle will close, I think if this candle closes below this particular trend line itself, immediately the alert will be created and immediately a put will be purchased, right? Now, one more thing that we can do here is that I can define that if put is purchased, I do... I can either wait for this particular level to be achieved or I can wait for a thousand rupees profit to be achieved or 500 rupees profit to be achieved in the options. How do I define that? It's very simple. We'll go to watch list again. Watch list options. Here in the edit, I can define max profit as thousand rupees, max loss as 500 rupees, right? So either my 500 rupees profit should be triggered or 1000 rupees loss should be triggered. Now this way, I'm completely stress-free. I'm least bothered about option premium value or anything of that sort. I know that once this candle is completed, once this candle is completed, if it is below the line that I've written, the alert will be triggered. It will be sent to my, it will be sent to my broker terminal and what will happen? Order will automatically go to my FIRES account, fully automated. And there will be a strict stop loss of 500 rupees, strict target of 1000 rupees, right? Very simple way in which you can automate. And the best part is now I can switch off my trading view. I can switch off my fires. I can switch off my laptop and I can go back to my work. Or if I'm pursuing a hobby or if I'm traveling, I need not worry about anything. The entire system will be fully automated. Interesting, right? Interesting, right? Right. So someone says your JSON format doesn't work. I had seen them. Uh, I had seen them trying. Okay. So right now I've done it in front of you. So let's see if it works or not. And I think since I got carried away in explaining you, I did not set the alert fast because you can see the price action is almost complete. The target is about to come. Right. So anyways, we were a little late in setting a target. Again, as I said, we'll be not bothered about whether our target is achieved or stop loss is achieved as we are a strategy neutral and our whole agenda is to teach you how to automate. So you will see the five minutes candle complete hone maybe 30 seconds baki hai, but trade ka target to already aa gaya. Anyways, right? So this way for price action lovers, you can automate any strategy and I'm sure this strategy would have given a lot of money. Okay, you can see the trade is triggered. There was a sound. I'm, I'm not sure if you were able to hear it. And you will see this bank nifty trade was triggered. Let's go to Algo Fox. Let's go to order log. 
Okay, let's go to order log. Just give me one second. Right. So in the fires account, I'll just check if I have any order. Okay. Mac Nifty order was triggered. Okay, for some reason, the order did not travel till here. I'll have to get it checked. But anyways, you get the crux, right? So that we placed an order. It got triggered. This will travel till your algo fox. And from algo fox, it will trigger into your broker terminal. I don't know why it did not trigger. I'll get it checked. Not to worry. I'll get this checked. But anyways, you get an idea of how price action basis system works. Now, moving ahead. Apart from price action based setups, we're also going to talk about indicator based setup, right? For example, if I want to automate indicator based strategy, how can I do that? It's very, very simple. For example, let us say I will take another chart, maybe let us say Nifty chart. On Nifty chart, this is a Nifty chart. And on this Nifty chart, let us say I want to apply any random indicator. For example, let us say super trend. And I want to trade in option. This is all we are talking about options. Let us say inbuilt super trend indicator. This is inbuilt super trend indicator. I am running it on a five minutes chart. Now let us say this particular in, in this particular indicator, I want to take a trade whenever super trend is giving a buy signal, I want to buy. And whenever super trend is giving a short signal, I would want to short. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's okay. The credentials does not matter. Uh, Fire team, thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let's move ahead uh, for now. Right. So we'll go. Uh, so coming back here, I want to take a trade whenever buy signal is triggered. So whenever super trend is giving me a buy signal, I would want to buy. And whenever super trend is giving me a short signal, I would want to exit my existing buy and then enter into a fresh short. How can I do it? It's very, very simple. This is inbuilt super trend of trading view. I have not done any sort of coding. And if there is one indicator or up to two indicator, you can automate without any coding knowledge. For example, in this particular strategy itself, I'm just going to right click, click on add alert. And here I can say that whenever Nifty is crossing up above super trend, Whenever Nifty is crossing above super trend, see, I'm not doing any coding. I'm just filling the form, right? Once per bar close, if a candle closes, when the super trend is giving me a buy signal, I can write a message like Nifty option super trend, whatever I want to write. And then in the message section, I'll paste the same alert. Just give me one second. Trade settings, we'll go back here in the keys, conditional alert data, come back here and paste it here. Here again, strategy tag can be OPT1, right? Instead of EQ, it will be OPT IDX. And then buy. And let us say we want to place NRML orders. Perfect. Now in the notifications, I'll have TV alert. Everything looks good. Just click on create and that's it. Now one alert is created buy alert. This is a buy alert. This will only trigger call buying if I'm an option buyer and put short if I'm an option seller. All right. So where is this alert? You can see the alert is here. I'll just remove unwanted alerts for now. So that there is no confusion. Perfect. All right. So Okay, bank NFT price action label. This is the alert that I had created and it is still not triggered. That is the reason. Uh, that is the reason the order did not get executed. Let us go back to bank NFT. Even I was very surprised why the order did not get triggered. Let's go back to bank NFT. So this is a bank NFT chart. On this bank NFT chart, bank NFT price action label based horizontal line. 
it did not cross down because when we were setting the alert, it was already down, right? So if I have to show you again, I'll just set an alert maybe here, just intentionally doing it, just so that you get a crux, right? On how the automation works, setting an alert again, bank nifty crossing horizontal line, only once we'll do it in the live only, just a test, just to show you. And OPT1, OPTITX, and instead of buy, we'll just write as short. And I'm just going to make it triggered because this is still active. It, if it would have been triggered, then it would have from active, it would have shifted down to close, right? So I'm just creating one more alert. You can see here. Now there's a test alert. This is active. Now I'll just, I can play around with this line also, right? Just taking it very close to the price. See, once the alert is created, it stops. Now, if I go to fires or algo fox, let's go to order logs. Sorry. Let's go to order logs. You can see bank nifty is come here, but I think I've used bank nifty futures chart. This is bank nifty futures chart, right? I've set it for bank nifty spot chart. Just one second. Bank nifty spot chart. Here, this was the alert, right? And this alert ko agar main thoda sa niche leke jaun, the bank nifty PA level alert, right? Just to show you, and I can even modify this. Only once, say. Now this is triggered, BN PA level, right? And if I go now, and you will see bank nifty 46,100 put is triggered automatically, right? So if you see the algo for in the algo fox, Bank Nifty trade has come. At what time did we trigger it from trading view? 11652. In the trades, in the order, it got filled at 11652. And in the fires also, the same order has come at 11652. The same, very same second, right? The very same second. And you will see the order is live intraday buy. We took at 127. Right now, the price is 128. And if I go to Algo Fox in the net position, same PNL is here. If it becomes plus 1000, we will exit. If it becomes minus 500, then also we will exit. It will happen automatically. Right? Okay. Okay. Let's move ahead. Let's move ahead. Now, come back to our trading view related uh, indicator. Right? So, let's go back to Nifty. Let's go back to Nifty. Okay, for Nifty, as you guys already know, I've set a Nifty option super trend based alert. So if there will be a super trend buy, we would take a trade. If I want to set similarly super trend based short, again, I have to click on add alert, Nifty crossing down, super trend, once per bar close, can be Nifty short, and again, perfect. Again, OPTIDX short. Everything remains same. OPT1 again. And click on create. This way, it will just take some time, maybe 30 seconds for you every day, just to set an alert. But yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Clear? Clear? I can see a lot of suggestions in the chat section already. Thank you so much. Thank you so much uh, for your uh, suggestions, but somehow the conditions work. So I'm just taking a few questions here. Quantity not changed. Can we do this without trading you subscription? No, Rishikesh, you cannot. Where can we submit a feature request? Omkar, I think I've already given uh, my email address. What I will do is I'm just going to send my email address again to all of you. If you need us to develop any specific feature that you think will help everyone, I've sent my email address, mail me personally. I will look into it and I will make sure I'll get it developed for you. Okay. Uh, do we need to modify in JSON code every day for the same strategy or it has some validity? Deepak, once you set an alert, it will be valid till it trigger conditional alert. If it is a fine scripted, if it is cold alert, then it can be a, a valid perpetual. It can be valid forever for lifetime. Okay. Right. Okay. 
what is the difference between crossing down and moving down in trading view okay so moving down basically means if it just goes down also it will be triggered and crossing down okay as we talk i think nifty may other trigger ho gaya hai right so you will see the nifty trade is triggered we'll look into it in a while and moving down means it is just moving down crossing down means it has to go from up to bottom up to bottom moving down means just niche jana hai usko upar se niche aana zaruri nahi hai right how to add more quantity in case we want to buy more okay how to connect how to add more quantity it's very very simple it's very very simple we'll go to algo fox in the algo fox in the watch list in the watch list options you can choose the quantity multiplier one ki jagah 10 20 30 40 how many ever lots you want 100 lots totally up to you right you can choose how many ever quantity you want to buy since it is for education purpose we are sticking with one lot theek hai one lot mein hamara pnl abhi minus 155 hai either minus 500 will come or what will happen uh, plus 1000 will come only then it will exit or if i want i can even interfere manually and click on square off right if i have multiple positions here i can square off everything or if i have only individual position and if i want to square off individual position i can do that okay right so now why did nifty trade was triggered but why did nifty trade did not trigger into algo fox because it did reach till here but since we did not add it to our watch list it did not trigger so this is also one security feature that we have if you don't want to trade in any particular option delete it delete it from the watch list it will not get triggered only when you add it back it it will get triggered for example nifty me wapas nifty 27 july right let us say i want to trade with one lot maximum profit of 1000 maximum loss of 500 and when i click on save change the okay, strike step is 15 in case of nifty right and product type i would want to stick to nrml now if the order will come from trading view now it will get triggered right since i did not add it here it will not get triggered very very simple it will take some time for you guys to get used to it but once you are used to it trust me there is nothing like this right all right and you will see there is one more signal that had come in rec ltd uh, this is external means there is one more python code that i am running uh, it sends signal to my multiple accounts so since i deleted my watch list so in this account uh, i have connected with fire so i deleted the watch list so in this particular account my python will not send signal right so i can send signal via python ami broker trading view etc etc now this uh, was indicator based setup and second thing that i have shown you is what do you say price action based setup now if you guys are interested shall we move to a little complicated platform like ami broker and shall we discuss about combined premium based strategies also would you want to see those things also right so let us say i'll just click on stop live clear log login we can talk about a little complicated setups also right so all right so we have now nifty bank right so there is combined straddle triangle based setups a lot of people use combined straddle triangle based setup can we automate that the answer is yes how i am going to teach you that also but before i would want to check in the chat section few questions okay how to add okay connect bridge to tv simply put webook address yes you are absolutely right gaurav what if market is sideways use option writing maybe can we create alert for bullish engulfing in trading view son sonkershi yes how to connect algo fox with google spreadsheet papun maybe we will cover this in a separate session in detail uh, do we need to do modification in json code okay this is connect bridge to trading view okay i think same questions are repeated again can we create alert for okay same question sir okay how to connect python gaurav maybe we'll connect uh, discuss this in detail in another session do we need to do modification are you are same question say bar bar theek hai guys don't ask the same question again and again can we use more than three indicators to automate yes in that case you will need to do pine scripting can we use multiple indicators in one strategy yes again for that you will need to do a little bit of coding okay so let's come back here let's come back here 
i'm going to teach you something very interesting and fresh very interesting and fresh okay so let us say um, option straddle dekho background mein awaaz aayi matlab trading view se koi trade aa gaya right let's check what is the trade that has come there is nifty short again at 11.15.02 so i'll go back to my fires can we see nifty short order submitted in my fires account yes i have nifty short also triggered while i was talking to you nifty short or nifty put bit trigger ho gaya right and both of them are running simultaneously right now you can see both of their positions also live here in the net position section one is in the position section other is in the holding section because this is nrml order algo fox is designed in such a way that nrml and cnc will stay in the holding section mis will stay in the position section so that you can differentiate right abhi profit acha aa raha hai so if i want i can even click on square of all manually there are a lot of people who want to interfere manually also do it click on square of all it will square of all the positions that you are holding right so you will see both the positions are squared off everything is squared off 1000 rupees profit is booked everything is done automatically right so algo can also be intervened manually using manual trading right and if you feel ki chalo itna aage mujhe bas ab manually intervene karna you can do that or if you want let the system run you can do that also it's totally up to you theek hai let's let's go back to what we were discussing right option based setups okay so let us say uh, for option based strategies today is last day of expiry right so expiry data 23 jul 23 july right so this is nifty 50 basic symbol would be nifty and instead of underline I have straddle just one second this is ami broker a little complicated compared to what compared to trading view or charting but here you can do advanced setups like straddle triangle and all of that let me just show you how it works i'm just going to backfill the data some manual steps are needed in ami broker but main time i'm also going to show you a lot of interesting stuff and also guys uh, is it okay if i extend this session for maybe 30 minutes or so because i'm also going to teach you how to trade automatically in equities uh, futures commodities also right can we punch and exit 10k to 1 lakh quantity manually through algo fox in one click rishi case yes unlimited quantity ek sath punch kar do it will execute okay order slicing is already implemented so it automatically does the order slicing and executes orders on your behalf okay 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 let's let's move ahead now so i think uh, nifty bank okay i'll just should of nifty bank i'll take nifty bank and i'll just quickly back fill okay so quickly the back fill will take place and then in the meantime parameters let me just check if everything is correct I think everything looks good. So this is how the coding looks like on Ami Broker, right? And in the parameters, trigger time is there. The underlying time, the lapse straddle or triangle time. Yes. Okay. The only reason why the trades might not come is maybe I don't have utne calls ka. Okay, I have. data for puts but i'm not having data for call you can see i have data for all the puts i'm not having data for all the calls in this ami broker i'll have to externally add that if time permits i will add it in a while and then show you how straddle triangle chart works in a while isko bhi thoda sa side mein rakhte hain and let's automate trades in equity okay shall we learn on how to automate trades in equity let's do that i'll go to charting for that charting is a no code platform again i'm just going to log in charting is also a paid platform if you want to automate you will have to have the paid version of it theek hai 
Now on the charting, on the charting, I'm just going to create a scan. Okay, very simple scan I would want to create in Nifty uh, 200. Again, this scan is purely for education purpose. Uh, profit hoga nahi hoga, I don't know. Take it. Let's create a scan. I want to create a scan where if a stock goes down by 4%, I would want to buy. It can be any random logic. I'm just giving you one logic. If a stock goes down by 4%, I would want to buy. So how will I write? If low, if the latest low is less than or equal to today's open into number 0 0.96 right so 100 minus 4 percent is 96 percent so 0 0.96 simple and if i run a scan let us see if this scan actually works there are two there was mahindra and idea so idea actually went down by uh, four percent below four percent, and then it might have recovered. And then there is Mahindra, which is gone by four percent, is still going down only. Take it. So here, do alerts. So if I want to create a strategy, so if I want to create a strategy in such a way that every day, if a stock falls down by four percent, I will buy. I'm just giving you a simple strategy to explain you how the automation works, right? I can click on save scan. Now in charting, there are limited fields for us. In trading view, I could write a JSON, I could do alert, I could add webhook. There are multiple options. So I could play around with all the fields. But here I have limited field. So every empty field is an opportunity for me. See, every empty field is one opportunity for me to automate. Else I will not be able to automate using charting. So in the name, I have to specifically write the name of what is the command. It can be buy, sell, short, or cover. Among and among these four, there will be one command that you have to give. You cannot say buy as per X, Y, Z, or you cannot write anything random here. Then automation will not work. Okay. So we'll just click write as buy. In description, you can write anything. Buy since stock goes down. Goes down by 4%. Something like this. Okay and then click on submit you have to save the scan okay so if i go to scans this name of buy is saved but along with that charting by default appends with a date so i'll to click it on it again click on save scan again remove the date this time and click on submit now you will see in the scan i have buy so i can have multiple buy scan buy name say multiple scanners i can have buy 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 sell 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 short 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 but in the description you can write the dis dis description to distinguish which scanner does what. Okay. So there is buy and then there is a description. Okay. So there is this buy. If I want to connect this buy with what? With my algo fox, what will I do? I have to connect it with webhook. That's it. Any trigger, if you want to connect with a third party platform, connect it with a webhook. How do you connect with a webhook? Simply click on create alert and you can say, in the alert name, as I said, we have limited field. Every field is an opportunity. Remove alert name. Go to Algo Fox. Go to trade settings. Go to keys. Here you have charting alert data. Copy. This is another JSON format. Right. Copy this. Come here. Paste it here. JSON pasted. Right. So here in the quantity field, I can write any quantity. Let us say 10. Okay, I'm going to answer a lot of advanced questions here. So stay tuned. Instrument type EQ. Yes, I want to trade in equity only. Tag can be pro one. This is my unique encrypted key. Do I want to place limit order or market order is up to me. Instead of limit, I can even change it to market. Okay. And instead of MIS, I can even change it to CMC. But let us say I want to stick to intraday. Check alerts every one minute. That means every one minute I want the charting to run the scanner automatically. And it can also send me notification over email and in the webhook URL, I will have to add charting webhook, right? So where do I find it in the algo Fox? I have charting webhook, come back here, paste here, click on save alert. And there you go. Alert is saved. Now, 
it will run at 11:25 am onwards every day till my charting subscription is active ek bar alert set kar diya forget charting forever now every single day it will start running the alert any new alert that will come will go to algofox from algofox to fires and the order will be executed provided that stock has to be in your provided oops yeah provided the stock has to be in your watch list here in the watch list stocks if it is not in your so you can see idea me signal aa gaya mnm me signal aa gaya order log me jayenge you got an idea and mnm from charting automatically since idea and mnm both are not in my algo fox watch list they will not go ahead in a very very simple way we have made sure that any retail trader who would want to fully automate their trades from no coding platforms like charting trading view they can automate their trades not only this if i want to trade in commodity or currency that is also doable we are going to talk about that also in detail as we go ahead but till till this section i hope everything is clear right so okay Devashi says, "Can I create strategy of any five minutes candle, high break, buy C, low break, buy P?" Devashi, it is absolutely possible, one hundred percent. Okay. Uh, next. Okay, Algo Fox free trial for a month. Day Trader Hyderabad, mil jayega aapko, right? There is a, a flow on how to do it. I have ex already explained in the beginning of the session. Follow it and you'll get it. Sir, can you make customized strategy for me? Uh, please send us your requirement to code code at the rate algofox dot in. We will definitely create your custom requirement also. Okay, no need to worry. Code at the rate algofox dot in. Can you install all required indicator alerts so that we only have to start and act on the computer? Nityanandan, uh, since these are all web based, once an alert is created, no need to start computer every single day also. it is that is also not needed okay right uh, can we create support and resistance based trade guna yes it is absolutely doable it is doable 100% doable i hope you guys are enjoying the session i hope you guys are enjoying the session maza aa raha hai aap logo ko do let me know about how you feel about today's session it will mean a lot to me all right so now that we have understood how to automate trades in uh, equity trades in options shall we also look at automating trades in in the, uh, futures especially future stock or future index gorov says can we mix price action and indicator together gorov 100% yes you can absolutely do that okay so uh, let's let's look into uh, creating some uh, sort of strategy based upon price action right uh, sorry uh, based upon uh, let us take any random setup to automate trades in index theek okay? hai so let us say uh, will come back to trading view will come back to trading view now this time i want to trade in uh futures what a beautiful rally no we we, we let we did a manual exit dekho yahi hota hai that is why algo trading is always superior to manual trading algo trading mein aapko education ke liye 1000 rupees ka profit aata tha main maine book kar diya i booked a profit of 1000 rupees because it was very good profit but if i would have let it run then what would have happened would have made enormous money right our target of 1000 or whatever we had added would have definitely got achieved anyways let now let us try to automate trades into futures automate trades into futures using any random uh, pint script okay so let us say maybe i can use chart of reliance i don't know let's just check reliance okay this is reliance uh futures chart this is reliance future chart instead of super trend i can add any random indicator 
uh, maybe anything Cambrilla basics, candle count, high low plus RSI breakout, open eye. I've added, a, I've created a lot of setups. Uh, open interest based setups. Someone asked, does open interest based setup be, can be automated? Yes, the answer is yes. So here you will see I've added first candle open interest. And based upon first candle open interest, we will see if the stock is about to blast or not. There are certain logics. Today, there is no entry as per first candle. So maybe I can use Camrilla basics. I don't know. I'm just experimenting with you guys, right? I'm just showcasing you what are the possibilities. Now, this is Camrilla that we have plotted. So in the Camrilla, the rule says that if the Camrilla is giving more than three trades a day. You have to ignore. So already three trades have happened in Reliance. So let's ignore that. And then maybe I will use a simple setup like uh, any random setup, right? Like open range breakout. Someone was telling me, Ki, can I mark high low of first candle? And if it breaks, can I take trade in call and put? Wahi le lete hai, fir. Right. So this is your... Uh, Today is 27th and here, this is ORB. So ORB entry starts from 9. So I want to take first 15 minutes candle, 9.15 to 9.30, mark the high and low. And based upon the risk reward, target is risk into 2. So jitna bhi range hoga risk ka, into 2 will be my reward, risk into 2. Stop loss is risk into 1. So 1 is to 2 is the risk reward ratio. Okay. And this is an intraday strategy, right? And that's it. Now what we will do is I'm just going to go to 15 minutes to show you how it works. This is a 15 minutes chart. Can you see this here? So here, this was a first candle, right? This is a first candle and then second candle and third candle. We took a trade because at third candle, the eight minute, 9.15 to 9.30, everything is right. High, low. Ideally, it should have taken a trade on the second candle itself, but I think there might be some editing in this code where we are taking trade after the candle completion of the second candle. So third candle open permanent trade le liya. Our risk is this orange color line. Our reward is this blue color line. One is to two. So wherever we have done a short, se jitna risk hai, utna hi reward hai. Right? So, okay. So, that is how the system works. Perfect. So if I see the same system yesterday, so we got a first candle high was broken in the second candles after second candle close or the third candle opening, we took a buy and then this was our stop loss and our target would have been way, way bigger, but I don't think our target was also achieved. So we had to square off at 315, so forth and so on, right? So this way we can create different type of strategies. Now, when you're creating a pine script like this, then this is how the code looks like. This is how the code looks like for pine scripts on trading view, right? And uh, this particular strategy is of approximately how many lines of code? 400 lines of code, right? You'll have to know a little bit of coding. If you don't know coding, don't worry. You can always get it developed from uh, freelancing developers, right? So now if I have created this strategy already, if I've added all the commands inside a strategy already, target, risk, reward, everything, all I have to do is click on add alert, choose the strategy and every other field will disappear because we've already done the coding. All the other fields will disappear. There's only alert name, write anything in the message. I need not write the condition because condition is already inside the pine script. So in the message, I just have to write the connecting placeholder. So in the keys trading view message just copy this one liner that's it copying this one liner will convert the entire format into json right and in the notification i've already added and simply click on create so this one strategy orb strategy will now be valid for till my trading view subscription is active on reliance i need not come every single day and create an alert no once created, it will be active perpetual till my trading view subscription is active, right? And what will happen every day 
as per the alerts the trade will automatically come it will go to algo falls from algo falls it will go to your fires terminal automatically you can even convert this into corresponding option buying or option selling model also in a fully automated setup okay right clear so this was about uh, trading in futures okay so when we are trading in futures i think one thing that i have to specifically be careful about is in the settings in the code we have to add trading view code in the instrument type it is future index we have to change it to future stock because reliance is a future stock and then everything else remains same just have to be very careful instead of this code we have to write the algo fox my trading view code come back here and paste it here that's it and now we have to create an alert so previous alert what was created on reliance i'll cancel it again click on add alert select the strategy all the other fields will disappear is the message again just come and paste the message again and test similarly you can create a strategy on crude as well let me just show you on crude oil futures also this is crude oil futures right so again uh, as a price action trader you will see कोई प्राइस एक्शन बन रहा है क्या यहाँ पे अगेन बिग गैप अप एंड देन अगेन द मार्केट इज गोइंग डाउन सो आई थिंक वी मिस द रैली वी कुड हैव शॉर्टेड ऑन द फर्स्ट कैंडल लो बट द मार्केट इज ऑलरेडी डाउन बट जस्ट टू शो यू फॉर योर रेफरेंस पर्पस आई कैन अगेन ऑटोमेट द ट्रेड इन क्रूड ऑल्सो राइट सो आई जस्ट टेक ए हॉरिजोटल लाइन फॉर योर रेफरेंस राइट नाउ एंड आई शो यू हाउ टू ऑटोमेट इन द वॉच लिस्ट फर्स्ट इन द वॉच लिस्ट स्टॉक्स वी हैव टू एड क्रूड ऑयल सो क्रूड ऑयल 21 अगस्त ठीक है एंड क्रूड ऑयल नेम हियर इज क्रूड ऑयल वन एक्सक्लेमेशन सो एग्जैक्टली दैट फॉर्मेट वी हैव टू ऐड इन द चार्ट सिंबल एन आर एम एल ऑर्डर रो वन एवरीथिंग रोमेन सेम दैट्स इट नाउ कम बैक हियर टेक अ ट्रेड मे बी अ हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइन अगेन समवेयर हियर क्लिक ऑन ऐड अलर्ट क्रूड ऑयल क्रॉसिंग हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइन only once means live right once per bar close means it will wait for the candle completion but to show you i am just going with only once alert name is crude oil test right in the message i have to write the complete json because we are not using pine script we are using no coding so take the entire json paste it here and again instead of equity it is future commodity foot com f u t c o m com Instead of MIS, it will be NRML. Instead of buy, it will be short because we want to short commodity, and everything else remains as it is. And simply click on create. So now we have crude oil test, which is active. If candle close crosses this particular trend line, this will trigger a trade, and it will go into my Fires account and trade in my crude oil, right? so if i want to trigger it i'll just okay done crude oil triggered and let's go here order logs crude oil agya but margin shortfall okay margin needed is 71000 but i think i have 225000 in the equity segment so you will see here fires mein order to aaya hoga definitely in the orders crude oil but it got rejected because my money is in the equity segment or basically nac trading and it is not you can see again it has come because this is the problem with repainting nature of the candle since i did not keep it as a candle close it i kept it just as a crossing so as many times it will cross the line that many times the order will come and it will get rejected okay anyways so this is how it works if i want i can just simply delete this alert forever okay so this way you can automate your trades in multiple asset classes in a fully automated way theek okay? hai so if you have any doubts feel free to ask here and those who want to learn about coding those who want to learn about uh, you know uh, coding on pine script coding on ami broker in complete detail for them we have uh, everything free of cost all the resources are free of cost on our uh, youtube channel called as algo fox academy 
right so you can learn everything about coding automation charting everything free of cost so i'll just show you algo fox academy is a youtube channel where you can learn about connecting to the brokers broker integration apart from that you can learn about options how to automate trades how to backtest popular strategies on youtube there are many strategies on youtube with 1 million view 2 million view we actually code that on trading view and check whether they are profitable or not apart from that you can learn about futures options equity in detail right so anyways let's come back here you can see there is one more trade in nifty buy that has triggered just now as we are speaking on the call side because market might have taken a u turn and in nifty super trend might have given a buy signal right so as we are talking let's go back to nifty so nifty buy we have got at 1140 so you will see that is also getting triggered here it got triggered exactly at 1140 itself and in the position we have one position and in this position also i can i'll let it run either it will give me a 500 rupees loss or 1000 rupees profit right so or if the super trend will be reversed then this buy will be squared off and then a put will be bought okay so anyways so the automation will continue to run and now if we have time let's try to add call strikes also right so let me add call strikes also mm, add symbols just a simple drill in ami broker it's a little complex but i would want to teach you this also because it might be a while uh, before we meet the next time so okay so here we have chal to bank nifty ke puts ye sare delete kar dete hain calls add kar denge let's add some calls this is macros okay those who understand macros might find it easy to understand but those who don't don't worry nifty current market price is 19800 to mujhe 15 strike upar aur 15 strike niche ki calls add karni hai ce this is macros copy all to ticker list okay i think macro might have done its job perfect save close any broker i've stopped the live data get details filling details fetching instrument id instrument id is added quick backfill every instrument that i've added it takes few seconds anyways till then i'll take some questions please can we use in volume yes you can use it in volume how create a particular stop loss and trailing stop loss sritej i'm going to talk about how to create a trailing stop loss and all of that stuff in detail just give me few minutes theek hai uh can we play stop loss of course sir will you okay i think okay right so back fill ho raha hai okay so now i've got yeah so i'm getting data for calls also perfect perfect so it's basically data stream it will take some time right so it's back filling not to worry मेन टाइम यहां पे आते हैं
Yeah. Can you see now? This is beautiful straddle chart. This is a combined premium of the straddle, <clears throat> right? So now what you will see here is that every day at 920, if you do a long straddle or a long strangle, where is your target? Where is your stop loss? How many days the target is getting triggered? How many days the stop loss is getting triggered? Everything you can <clears throat> see visually here and you can fully automate it also, right? For example, since inception, maybe since month of July, it's a very popular uh, strategy, right? For example, July 5th, we took a trade here. This is a blue color dot. This blue color line is your entry price, combined premium based entry. And according to me, my target was 100 points. Stop loss is also 100 points, right? And let us say 100 points target is this green color line. 100 points stop loss is this red color line. How many days it gave us profit? Let us learn that. So this is a blue color line. At 315, the combined premium is below blue color line. So the number of days combined premium is below blue color line are the days we walked out with some profits, right? So here we made some profit maybe of 10, 12 points. Next day, July 6, July 6, how much profit did we make? Let's see, right? So it's a very good drill to research on your own strategy. So here you will see July 6, you took an entry somewhere here and exit was above the blue line. So combined premium based entry exit gave you loss. Okay, July 7, let's talk about July 7. Let's go a little bit ahead. Perfect. July 7. July 7, you took an entry here. Market might have been flat. Solid premium decay. You made very, very good money. Let's go ahead and talk about July 8. July 8, again, you took an entry here. Market closed below the blue color line. You made again some money there. July 11. July 11, what happens? You take an entry here. Market is closing almost near the blue color line, cost to cost. July 12, your target achieved. July 12, your target achieved of 100 points. Can you see this? Market went here and your target of 100 points achieved. July 13, I said July, sorry, I think July ka data incorrect. Hai. These strikes I don't have, I think for the call, that is the reason the data is incorrect here. Let's move ahead. Yeah, the data is proper from here again. So, because I have not added the strikes, if I add the strike, the data will come again. Not to worry. July 14, we took a trade here. Net premium combined closed below the blue color line. July 17, we took a trade here and the combined premium closed below it. So again, yes, most of the days it has given you profit. Some wild days it would have definitely given you loss. This is monthly contract, not weekly. This is monthly. Monthly straddle strangle. Okay, monthly. For example, on July 20, it would have given you a loss because I think that day market went up by 2% or something. So it took a trade here, almost 70, 80 points loss, right? Again, next day, solid graph going in your favor, giving you a very good profit, so forth and so on, right? So uh, you can even automate this trade from AMI broker. You can just add your trading key here, the same strategy tag, OPT, IDX, MIS, everything will be same. Just you have to add your trading key here and switch on auto on. That's it. Again, the automation is fully done. That means now you'll see I have call and put both of Nifty for super trend. Call is also giving me loss. Put is also giving me loss. And again, as I said, we have combined premium, uh, sorry, net premium based entry exit uh, 500 rupees ka target. Sorry, 500 rupees ka stop loss, 1000 rupees ka target. And it will take care of it automatically. Coming back here to the trade uh, settings. For AMI broker key, we have a trading key. Copy this trading key and just add it here. Paste, OK, and switch on auto on. That's it. Now, 920, whenever it will be 920, combined premium based trade will take automatically. Trade target stop loss will be taken care of. And things will happen automatically. For example, today morning, ATM call and ATM put were at this price, right? At 86 combined right now it's close to 187 right so this is the graph of combined and premium based entries right so this will help you understand 
whether 920 struggle or any other strategy should be taken, uh, no, taken or executed by you or not, right? So this was a brief introduction to um, automation using no coding, although I've added a little bit of coding in the end to add your curiosity, right? So if you have any questions, please ask it here, else we can wind up the session here, right? So sensible also does the same work. Uh, Abhijit, I have no clue. Uh, we, we cannot talk about any other platform here, right? So if you have any doubts, feel free to ask here. Also, I hope I have added some value to your busy Thursday by explaining you how automation works. You can see one trade got automatically squared off. A trade automatically square off, right? Uh, because trading view would have sent an exit signal. The Pine script already has the exit in it, right? This is another strategy which is giving some profits. A uh, corresponding correct profit will come, then it will exit. Ho ya loss will come, exit will come, whatever. Right? So Deepak says, sorry to ask again, I might have missed the answer. Do we need to set up JSON code every day or is it good for long term? Deepak answering it again. I have already answered this. I'm answering it again. If you're using a uh, price action based or non-coding based trading view setup, you need to set up JSON every day. But if you're using Pine script, then you need not set up JSON every single day. Okay. Right. Sritej says, can't we directly connect and set alerts from fires to make trade? Sritej, you can absolutely do that, but there are some uh, disadvantages. For example, you cannot automate trades in options by connecting directly. Why? Because trading view does not have options chart. The paid trading view that you will use will not have options chart. So if you want to trade in options, what will you do? It is not possible, right? So that is the reason you need a bridge that automatically converts the incoming signal to send it to the outgoing signal. Okay. Sritej, I hope I have answered your question. Why we need a bridge in between and why uh, it is not suggested to directly integrate trading view to fires. Okay. Yeah. Next. Also, Sritej, uh, one more thing is you cannot add maximum profit, maximum loss, maximum trades per day, maximum orders per day. There are many filters which a bridge can monitor and not direct connection can do. Okay. All right. Anyone else with any other query? I think that's uh, the end of our questions. We've pretty much covered all the questions that have come in so far. Uh, someone says sudden power failure ho gaya to mobile salgo trading completely close kar sakte hai. I think you have not attended the session completely. In between, I also did manually square, uh, manual square off. In fact, I can do it right now in front of you. On my screen, I can see a profit of close to 1800 rupees or whatever, right? Now, if I have to manually close it, I will log in my mobile, I will log in Fox, I will log in in net position, mein jaunga, right? Square off all, click on yes. Kar dunga. I can square off everything, right? Now, I can square off everything. Done. I can close my trades here. Trading is stopped. I can switch on this button to start the trading or switch off this button to close the trade for the day. And in fires, everything is closed, right? It's extremely simple, extremely simple to intervene in between and also start or stop uh, trading at your will, right? So, Kushal, quick question. So, you, the moment you hit that stop trading button, it closes all your positions? Uh, no, when you click on square of all, it closes all your button. And when you click on stop trading, your trading is stopped. That means even if trading view or AMI broker or charting is sending signal, it won't be sent to the terminal. Brilliant. Brilliant. Lovely. Thank you so much. I mean, that was very uh, informative. Just as you were showing, I was also simultaneously trying it on my end also over here. Right. Uh, so I think a couple of more questions have come in. Would you like to take them? Yeah. yeah. Can we add strategy template in trading view? Yes, uh, you can add that and it will work for sure. How many order does it place in a day? Praveen, it is as per your capacity. We don't have any limits to that. It is up to you, right? So are you offering some discount to existing fire client? Deepak, as I said, uh, all the fire clients get one month of AlgoFox subscription absolutely free, right? You need not pay even a penny. Uh, can we place next expiry orders in algo trading with fires account? Devidas, yes. Not only next expiry, 
how many ever expiries are available in the exchange those all expiries can also be placed okay so in the case of nifty i think you can place for the next year also it's totally up to you okay devidas i hope uh, that answers your question uh, anything else so now you'll see i don't know if you heard about this sound there is sound coming from trading view but the order did not come to fires why because remember i have stopped the trading button so if i go back to algo fox just to show that also in the order log you will see nifty trade has come but what does it say signal ignored trading is currently stopped right so this way if you want to manually intervene and say ki bhai aaj ka bus ho gaya mujhe aaj abhi trade nahi karna hai this is not my day or i have done more than what i wanted for a day stop this button just use this button and stop it right Okay. And I think that is uh, that is very helpful. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that that provides like a hard stop, and you know when you have to physically push that button and like, correct. Hey, correct. Aaj din nahi hai, let me not trade anymore. Right. <laughs> One more thing that we have also done is there are a lot of people who say I don't even have time to start or stop the button, but after a specific profit or loss, I want to stop, or after a specific number of trades, I would like to stop trading for the day. It is absolutely doable. In Algo Fox, we have beautiful risk management. in the risk management you can define maximum open position at any given point how many position should be open so if your algo is generating signal in nifty bank nifty reliance wipro everything it will take only if you have set maximum open position as 2 then at any given point only two positions will be open all the other signals will be square, uh, ignored till any one of these two position is squared off right similarly you can define maximum long positions per day maximum short positions per day maximum trades per day maximum orders per day maximum trades per script this is very important when the market is choppy every indicator will give you buy sell buy sell buy sell in a same stock multiple times so you can define that okay if in a single script i am getting three or four trades in a day after that i don't want to trade because clearly it is a uh, sideways or a choppy day right you can define such a uh, risk management measures here right so apart from that we are also coming up with money management in money management you can define maximum profit overall profit per day maximum overall loss per day so if you are running 3 4 5 different strategies and if the cumulative profit or cumulative loss is exceeding what you have added here trading will be shut down after squaring off all your positions automatically right so it will help you basically become a disciplined trader okay a lot of people say uh, how to register i think i have explained it again but i'll explain you uh, uh, how to register for algo fox uh, one month subscription free of cost all you have to do is look at this just go to trade.algofox.in right and here in the trade. Dot, just like trade.fires.in just <laughs> similarly you have trade.algofox.in and here you have create new account click on this create new account name mobile email username add it you will get otp on your whatsapp as well as email just verify it and then you will get your credentials on your email a one week trial will be given to you instantly as and when you sign up and then dm us your username and do let us know that you have attended our fires uh, webinar we are going to credit one month of extra subscription also so 7 plus 30 you will get 37 days of subscription free of cost use this platform explore this platform and if you have any doubts connect to our dedicated team on whatsapp i'm sure we will definitely answer all your queries right so kushal where do these people dm you their uh, user yeah so i'm just uh, what i'll do is i'm just going to also in the youtube chat itself i'm just going to add the number it's very simple and easy to remember 835 1818835 very simple number right 8351818835 we also added the number in the chat section dm us will look into your queries at very very high priority don't worry about it right um, i don't see your uh... comment in youtube uh, for sure let me re uh, rephrase that number 83518181835 correct yeah. you can also post it on my behalf maybe i am okay. going to do that um uh, someone says explain trailing stop loss uh, sure 
so let me explain you about trailing stop loss on trading view see on trading view you can have a trailing stop loss also uh, but for that you will have to write fine scripting i've already done that so let me show you in a simple example of maybe ema crossover okay this is just to explain everyone how it works right so i have this ema crossover strategy let us say which i would want to run on a crude oil <clears throat> Right. So one more advantage of writing a code on Pine script is the moment you load it, it will give you the backtest report as well, free of cost. There are many backtesting platforms that charges thousands and thousands of rupees of subscription. You can save all of that cost simply by writing the code on TradingView. Backtesting unlimited scripts, unlimited time frame, unlimited combination is absolutely free on TradingView. No hidden charges or anything of that sort. Right. So here, this is a crude oil. On crude oil, let us say. If I want to use 5 and 20 EMA, I can use two target also, target 1 and target 2. Let us say target 1 is 1%, target 2 is 2%, stop loss is 1% and I can use trailing stop loss. Let us say trailing stop loss also 1% from the entry price and uh, maybe 1% and then instead of intraday, if I make it positional, just to show you how beautifully the entire system works. Okay, so beautiful. So can you see this here? Let us say you got a buy signal because 5 EMA cross 20 EMA towards upside. You got a buy signal here. The buy is written here. And now there's this orange color, beautiful trailing SL coming in, right? You can increase or decrease the intensity of this trailing stop loss also. How? In the settings section, look at this. This is trailing as per 1%. That means every 1% stock goes up by trailing stop loss will go up by 1%. If, I, if you make it 0 0.5, that means every half that means every 30 points crude oil will go up by trailing stop loss will go up by 30 per 30 points so if i make it 0.5 you'll see now trailing sl will become a little aggressive can you see this now it's very closely going in here right so you can set the intensity of the trailing stop loss and as per the intensity of trailing stop loss your back test report also matter uh, uh, affects for example look at this with 1% trailing stop loss, you will have a different backtest report altogether, 29% profitability. With maybe 0.5% backtest, you will have a different profitability. So you can even check the profitability of your strategy, the max drawdown and all of that by changing the target value, stop loss value, trailing stop loss value. We can even set up different types of trailing stop losses and work around it. Okay, right. So Abhijit, I hope uh, this expl uh, this answers your query. Right. Uh, my question in previous, can we send alerts? answer Can I connect fires directly to AlgoFox without trading you subscription? Shakya, you can definitely connect, but what's the whole point? Because if you want to automate, you have to send alerts from a third party platform. If not trading you, maybe charting maybe AMI broker, maybe Excel sheet, maybe Google spreadsheet, maybe Python. You will have to eventually connect AlgoFox with any platform that is generating signal. AlgoFox on its own cannot generate signal, right? Okay. Can I connect Fires direct to AlgoFox without trading you subscription? Yes. Can we place buy above or sell below orders? Yes, of course you can. Of course you can, right? So I think uh, we're done for the day. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Kushanji. I know the questions are still pouring in, but I have uh, dropped your uh, uh, WhatsApp in the YouTube chat section. So people can DM you. Uh, also, just give wrong. me one more minute. Uh, Naresh has told me to share this. Uh, and of course, it's a very uh, useful thing for everyone. Uh, so anyone who has any queries related to APIs, FIRES API or automation or anything of that sort, uh, you can go to community.fires.in. Uh, Vigneshji, if you can add the link of community.fires.in in the chat section. Yes, Here in community.fires.in, you have multiple subtopics to discuss. See, everyone is discussing about a lit, uh, uh, different different things. As we were talking about webinars, Rakesh is already talking about webhook response issue, so forth and so on, right? There are many different traders in FIRES who are discussing different topics. If you want to discuss anything related to automation, 
here you have fires api as a topic fires api bridge as a topic so forth and so on you can go to maybe fires api and see what people are discussing about right and if you want to create your own discussion or if you want to add your own discussion you can log in right i'll just log in using my account and once you log in you can discuss uh by clicking on this plus button add a new discussion or add a new post put, put your query on the fires community the entire team of fires uh, fires team and all the community members of fires will try to help you and i've also done a no code uh, algo trading session on uh, in hindi if anyone would want to learn about this there is no code algo trading session in the same fires api and here you can learn no code algo trading in hindi as well and of course free giveaway the same one month algo fox subscription we have people commenting on this also so you can get in touch with me on the fires community or other fellow traders also on the fires community right right so i think that's it for the day thank you so much everyone for joining us i look forward to see you soon maybe in some other informative session right so vignesh ji over to you uh hi kushal i'm sorry i'm having some technical difficulties i'm having to use a different system at the moment uh, so i believe we can uh, wrap the session right now yes so thank you so much for joining us and uh, we will definitely uh, look at gathering more uh, uh, feedback from our viewers regarding this and look at organizing more i'll go uh, workshops in future sure thank you so much see you all thank you thank you once again thank you viewers